it's a bit low, but hi year 11, Mr. Wilson here. I've got one of my favorite physics experiments today. We're gonna to demonstrate the motor effect, uh, which is an illustration of electromagnetism. I'm gonna explain the setup to you first. So I have a power pack here. The red terminal is positive. Uh, so my uh, positive current is coming up through this black wire here. The black terminal is negative, so the current is traveling through the wire and then through this piece of aluminium foil and then into the negative terminal of the battery. So when I turn this power pack on, I've got an electric current running this way through the uh, aluminium foil. I have a massive U-shaped magnet. I'm actually going to spin this around for a second so you can see. I've written on it North Pole and South Pole. So we know that the field lines are going across this way from the North Pole to the South Pole. So what we've got is an electric current running through a magnetic field. We know that aluminium isn't a magnetic metal. That would have to be iron, uh, nickel, cobalt or iron would be our three magnetic ones. So at the moment we can see the aluminium foil isn't affected by the magnet. But when I turn the power pack on, I've got a current flowing through, through a magnetic field going that way. The current is going to induce a magnetic field that, if I use my right hand induction rule, the magnetic field is coming this way around the aluminium foil. We know that that electric current flowing through a magnetic field is going to induce a force. So I'm now going to use my Fleming left hand rule. Remember I've got thumb movement, first finger force. Uh, second finger, current. So I'm going to line, uh, sorry, field. Uh, movement, field, current. I'm going to line up my hands so I've got the magnetic field going from north to south, so I'm pointing in the right direction. I've got the electric current coming from positive to negative, it's going that way. So I'm predicting, using my left hand for the motor rule, that when I turn the current on, there's going to be a movement of the aluminium foil upwards. Like, it seems simple, let's watch it. Look at that, I told you, thumb upwards. Magnetic field goes that way, current goes that way, therefore it moves upwards. That's brilliant, I love seeing that every time. I'll turn it on because I've got a lot of current running through the power pack. That's pretty cool. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap the terminals on the battery. Not the battery, sorry, on the power pack. Swap the terminals on the power pack. So now I've got the current running the other way. So I've still got magnetic field going that way. Current is now going the other way, like that. So the current run that way, which means that the movement should be that way. Now this is resting on the magnet, so it can't move too far downwards. But this time when I turn the power pack on, we should see the aluminium foil move the other way. I hope you saw that. I'll turn it off and do it again. Watch these edges of the foil. We can see it straight away move down. So that is demonstration of the motor effect using Fleming's left hand rule. I hope that made lots of sense.